Hi students, welcome to chemistry classes. Today we are going to start the next concepts in uh, general principles and uh, processes of isolation of elements, nothing but metallurgy. In this chapter, the concentration of ores, it is a main important concept, concentration of ores. So it has four different methods are there. They are first one hydraulic washing nothing but uh, gravity separation method and uh, magnetic separation method and uh, froth floating process and uh, leaching nothing but a chemical method so first of all we have to know the what is meant by concentration of ore students concentration of ore means the process of removal of impurities from the metal ore is called a concentration of ore or you can say dressing of ore or a benefaction so here the definition for a concentration of ore the process of remo removal of impurities from the metal ores is known as concentration of ores or you can write in your language the processes the process of removal of unwanted materials or a foreign mater materials present in a metal ore it is called a concentration of a ores so here there are uh, four important methods are there or uh, there are four important methods used to concentrate the metal ores they are concentration of ores there are four types are there first one gravity separation method nothing but hydraulic washing so this method is based on the uh, gravity properties and second one magnetic separation method so magnetic separation method this method is based on the uh, magnetic property and third one froth floating process and students this method is based on the wetting properties and last one chemical method so these are the four important method to remove the Im unwanted impurities and foreign materials present in a metal ore so in that first one gravity separation method nothing but hydraulic washing so this method is based on the difference in gravities of a ore and a gang particle students this method is based on the difference in gravity of a ore and a gang particles for example iron and tin are concentrated by this method or you can simply write the example for a gravity separation method is cassiterite and hematite are concentrated by this method so this is the diagrammatic representation of a gravity separation method so here in this method ore is powdered and uh, washed with the upward stream of running water the lighter gang particles are washed away and the heavier ores are left behind so student here the lighter gang particles are washed away means the lighter gang particle oh, gang particle and no, unwanted impurities oh, light weight is easy to wash out ah, mele, heavier ores heavier ores nothing but here metal ores metal ores so kelagade deposit agate. so kelagade deposit agidda now in to bili, concentrated ore anta to gang particle and unwanted impurities oh, ah, na, easy to remove maadabohu. So this is the gravity separation method. It can ask, uh, it may ask for a two mass question. So explanation about this uh, hydraulic washing or gravity separation method, and you can take this as a notes. Student here, just to observe this uh, diagrammatic representation, you can write the explanation. First point, in this process, powdered ore is agitated with a stream of water the in this process powdered ore is agitated with stream of water the heavy ore particles settle down due to the force of gravity while lighter than impurities are washed away student illi na vartha madkobeku enandre lighter particles kodu andre impurities kodu remove agutte amele heavier particles kodu settle down agutte aa settle down agiddo agirtakanta uh, substance on avin to concentrated ore anta consider maadatibli this is the first point and second one it is done in hydraulic classifier or a will flace table so this is the this is the hydraulic uh, washing diagrammatic representation 
so it is done in hydraulic classifier or a wheel flay table generally oxide and carbonate ores are concentrated by this method students illi oxide golu andre metal oxide golu athwa metal carbonate golu na concentrate maadlikke ee method na use maadtivi and uh, example cassiterite hematite and uh, ores of iron and tin are concentrated by this method nothing but gravity separation method next one next important uh, uh, or a second type of concentration of ore is magnetic separation method students here in magnetic separation method this uh, method is based on the magnetic properties of a metal ore here this method is used to concentrate the magnetic ores from the non magnetic impurities and vice versa now we learn more the students using uh, magnetic separation method in the ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಓರ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ಆಗಿಯೂ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇದೇ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಓರ್ನ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೊಂದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಇಂಪ್ಯೂರಿಟೀಸ್ನ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮ ಇಂಪ್ಯೂರಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ನ ನಾವು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ನ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ನ ನಾವು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಓರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಥೀಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಓರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯೂರಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೈಸ್ ವರ್ಸಾ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ದ ಓರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೌಡರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ರೋಲರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ attracted by the magnet and forms one heap and uh, non magnetic particles forms another heap example hematite ore of iron is concentrated by this method so this is the explanation about uh, magnetic separation method first point this method is uh, used for separation of metal ore when either the ore or impurity is magnetic in nature first explanation this method is used for separation of metal ore when either the ore is impurity is magnetic in nature next point the powdered ore is dropped on the belt moving on two roller one of which is a strong magnet and the magnetic particles are attracted by the magnet and fall nearer to the roller when non magnetic particles fall away from the roller students illi now en martivi bandre ಫೈನಲಿ ಗ್ರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಓರ್ನ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಆ ಬೆಲ್ಟ್ಗೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನಿರ್ತದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಬೀಕರ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಬೀಕರ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಬೀಳ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಬೀಕರ್ನ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಯಾವುದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಓರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಲು ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಲು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಓರ್ನ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ concentrated ore anta li consider martivi so this is the uh, second point the next one this method is used for separation of a magnetic ores ee method na nu magnetic ores na separate madlikke use martivi next one hematite is concentrated by this method for example hematite is concentrated by this method and uh, so this is about magnetic separation method next one third uh, very important uh, concept that is froth flotation process it may ask for a two marks question froth flotation process so example copper pyrite nothing but uh, copper ore argentite nothing but uh, silver ore so this is the diagrammatic representation of froth flotation process students this method is used to concentrate sulfide ores like zns and uh, cu2s so zinc sulfide and uh, cuprous sulfide in this method the ore is powdered and uh, suspended in water ee method dalli en martivi andre now ore na powder martivi amale water alli addition martivi next few drops of collector like pine isle and passy acids sorry patty acids and uh, janthates and uh, fruit stabilizers like aniline and uh, chrysols are added so illi now uh, some drops of collector na add martivi yavudu andre ಪೈನ್ ಆಯಿಲು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫ್ಯಾಟಿ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ಸು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫ್ರೂತ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ನೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೂತ್ ಸ್ಟೆಬಿಲೈಸರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅನಿಲೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಸಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ 
the collectors enhance the non wettability of the ore particles and stabilize the froth student this method is based on the wetting property i already told you and next the main explanation of this froth production process is here this method is based on the preferential wetting properties with the frothing agent and the water and next one so e first point prakara e method now edak use martivu andre this method is based on the preferential wetting properties with the frothing agent and the water next one the powdered ore is added to water containing pine oil or a turpentine oil so these are act as a frothing agent and uh, third concept that is a stream of air is passed which agitated the mixture and produces froth the sulfide particles of the ore stick to the oil droplets and rise to the surface and uh, floats with the air bubbles so this is the third point of our froth production process a stream of air is passed which agitates the mixture and produces froth the sulfide particles of the ore stick to the oil droplets and uh, rise to the surface and floats with air bubbles next one water wets the gang particle or a jange particle which sink to the bottom water wets the gang particle which sink to the bottom next one this method is used for concentration of sulfide ores so student here fruit protection process is used to concentrate the especially sulfide ores in last one chemical method here it is also called leaching so means here it involves the treatment of ore with a suitable reagent as to make it soluble while impurities remain insoluble it is simple method students it involves the treatment of ore with a suitable reagent as to make it soluble where impur impurities remain insoluble the ore is recovered from the solution by suitable chemical method example bauxite ore contains ferric oxide titanium oxide and silica as impurities so this is the explanation regarding leaching or a chemical method powdered bauxite ore is digested with an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide the alumina dissolves forming soluble meta aluminate while impurities remain insoluble which are filtered this process is known as leaching so this is about the concentration of ores